Hello Internet. I'll be honest that Rockstar games are amazing. The GTA series are open world games that defined the open world genre in video games, especially GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. The first GTA games I played is San Andreas and GTA 4, which are of course one of the best games I've ever made. Then they announced GTA 5, and the graphics looked awesome, but of course the game itself was generally fine, but not as good as the other games. But then, GTA Online came out. GTA Online at first wasn't that bad, but as the time went on, it became worse, more grindier, and less fun. The game has really poor security, and the only players are grinders and hackers. And the only responsible people who did this is Rockstar Games themselves. Now, Rockstar Games announced GTA 5 on PS5 and everyone got pissed because they want to milk GTA 5 as much as possible. Why did I move here? I think it was the way. And two weeks ago they released the GTA trilogy, the definitive edition. Now I want to talk about the, the trilogy first. So the original, original, original trilogy was basically three games, GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas. In 2011, a company by the name of Grove Street Games asked Rockstar themselves if they can do a trilogy on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, iOS and Android. They accepted. And that first trilogy was bad. There is a video about it that is like 1 hour and 30 minutes and um, yeah, it's not that good. And you could probably accept that, that maybe they've done better in the definitive edition. And no, the flaws are still there and the game looks like trash. They all look like they had plastic surgery and there's bad reflections and all the budget of this game went to the weed physics when CJ contacts them. Wow, look at those amazing glass physics. Honestly, I missed the time when GTA 4 and San Andreas were one of the best games ever made and Rockstar went downhill. Sure, GTA 5 was good, but GTA Online made it worthless and they removed GTA 4 Online and the only way that Rockstar could possibly go up again is if they made GTA 6, but, a, but an actual good game. Of course, Rockstar Games didn't make the trilogy themselves, it was actually Grove Street Games. But we all know that Rockstar Games made a mistake of picking the right developers. While I think that the game deserves to be review bombed, it doesn't deserve to hurt the developers themselves. So please don't go after the developers. Oh yeah, actually, you know what's the worst thing that Rockstar ever did? They removed all the original GTA titles on Steam. Except GTA 4 and 5, that's good. But they removed GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas on Steam. Whoever didn't buy them, then you cannot buy it anymore. You can only buy those games in the Rockstar Launcher, which nobody uses because it's absolutely garbage. This is Rockstar's attempt to make the maximum amount of money. Shame on you, Rockstar. Shame on you. Oh, wait, wait what's that? Is that Mark Zuckerberg? I'm excited to announce that the Rockstar Games Classic Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is in development for Quest 2. So wait, Rockstar Games is partnering with Facebook? I, I mean Meta? What? This is kinda ironic because in GTA 5 there's a mission where you have to kill a, a dude that is supposed to be Mark Zuckerberg, you put a bomb in a phone and then you like call it and then the phone explodes. Rockstar Games in GTA 5 was parodying Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or whatever else in GTA 5 as social media is that steal your data and now they're partnering with Facebook because they're like oh let's just make the maximum amount of money possible. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Now you can dock your life invader to an iPhone phone or any other device and it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into life invader friendly information. The Rockstar Games classic Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is in development for Quest 2. Oh yeah, and Rockstar Games is also trying to sue modders that are trying to fix the old games. 
For example, a mod called Silent Patch fixes most of the issues in the old games like San Andreas and Rockstar Games is suing those people behind the mod. Anyway, that's it for the video. I think that Rockstar made a huge mistake that they should have like made the game themselves in-house instead of hiring some random developers that don't know how to develop a game and just let them develop a trilogy, which actually sucks. So yeah, anyway, don't buy the game. Instead, save your money and buy the colorful creature. See you in the next video.